Just as God designed the incredible wonders of the universe, he also designed the perfect way for us to eat for health and for a long and fruitful life. This series of teachings on eating God's way for health and weight loss was inspired by God showing me different aspects of his eating plan for us. Each post will be on a different topic, but at the end, you will get an opportunity to hear how I learned God's eating plan. It shares what inspired me and what I learned about this topic. If you have not heard this, please take the time to listen. My first topic is, how much food do we need? If you have ever been to France, you will notice in restaurants extremely tasty food, but in limited quantities. In contrast, restaurants in America give you large quantities of food and people tend to eat it all. Then we end up preparing similar quantities for our meals at home. The result is weight gain followed by health problems. As time goes by, the more weight you gain, the more you become susceptible to all kinds of diseases and malfunctions of the body system. Did God design us to eat huge quantities of food? I think you know the answer to that. As fat accumulates not just below our skin, but surrounding all of our vital organs, this visceral fat can disrupt your proper functioning. Another factor that adds to weight gain and health problems is our insistence on eating three square meals a day. Sure, the farmer needs breakfast as he is up very early doing physically challenging chores. However, if we non-farmers roll out of bed and immediately eat breakfast because we have to get somewhere, we don't need nourishment as all we have been doing is sleeping. Why not have brunch or lunch as our first meal? What is important when you first arise from bed is plenty of water for hydration. When we go about our day working, doing errands, or even exercising, by dinner time we need nourishment, but we, but we don't need all those snacks between lunch and dinner. After a heavy dinner, topped off by a sweet dessert while watching television, we tend to nibble on a variety of snacks. After all that food, we go to bed to rest for the night. So our food, not needed for energy, turns into fat instead. No wonder we gain weight. Another factor throughout the day is mistaking thirst for hunger. We need lots of water. Try lemon water if regular water is too bland for you. Cutting down on quantities of essentials for good health. For instance, three ounces of meat is pr probably adequate for women, five for men. How about half a potato instead of a whole? Divide that huge quantity of food restaurants serve in half before the meal, asking for a to-go container. Before you touch a bite, make sure to transfer the half to take home. Lots of salads and green vegetables are fine unless you load them with unhealthy dressings and sauces. We will discuss what to eat and what not to eat in, on upcoming posts. Right now I ask you, why not eat the quantities French restaurants serve? Two friends from Finland told me they were shocked at the quantity of food served in American restaurants when they first arrived. It's not just France who eats less than America. Take heed. Your waistline demands it. While I was receiving prophetic words from God that I have put on a YouTube site called Prophetic Words for the Hearts of God's People, Suddenly, I received a prophecy about how people are killing themselves with what and how they eat. 
This prophecy did not seem to fit with the others I had received, so I asked God what to do with it. The words I heard were this, start another YouTube series called Eating God's Way for Healing and Weight Loss. Interesting, because I had been delving into how I could lose weight and eat healthy. Therefore, I thought the prophecy might be for me alone. But no, the still small voice assured me it was for multitudes of his people. He said they are eating the wrong things, plus too much of them, and need to know when and how much to eat. God said to my spirit, do it as my people are literally making themselves sick with their food choices and excess weight. Thus, I will share what God has shown me and what I have learned from my research. It will not be technical, as as I am not a scientist nor a doctor. When I asked him, God's Spirit told me to use the same venue as I'm using on another YouTube site. My own story of many body malfunctions and diseases God has shown were caused by what I ate. How much and how often will be shared here also. Several unnecessary surgeries could have been avoided had I known God's way to eat. Learn, enjoy, and be blessed. If you are spiritually hungry, you might want to check out my other YouTube site called Prophetic Words for the Hearts of God's People by Patricia Williams.